Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a rye bread. Right now I am adding all the dry ingredients and combining them. And this recipe uses a pickle juice instead of the uh, mash that I see in some recipes, so I was interested to try it. I'm adding the, um, the sugar, the salt, the instant yeast, um, not, obviously not adding the salt and the yeast together. Adding the rye flour and the bread flour and combining them in the stand mixer. Now I'm adding the wet ingredients, the pickle juice, the hot water, and I am leaving a link to the recipe in the uh, description below. So if you're interested, you can go to the recipe and, and uh, try it for yourself. If you do try this recipe, please leave a link in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know how it turned out for you. Okay, now I'll replace the mixer with the uh, dough hook. And you can see the, uh, the rye dough starts out kind of shaggy and wet. Um, it's an interesting dough. I've mostly worked with white bread before, so this is uh, new to me. At this point, you let the rye dough sit for about a half hour. Just to give, I guess, it time to uh, rest. I'm setting here the timer for 30 minutes so the dough can rest and now I'm putting it back on the stand mixer to knead it for six to seven minutes after which I will put it out on a floured work surface and knead it by hand for about a minute, minute to two minutes before baking it. As I said before, the recipe is in the description, so if you're interested, you could try this yourself. I did think that this bread turned out amazing, and it had a really nice flavor. So, um, yeah, please uh, feel free to follow along and try it yourself. And if you, uh, if you try it, please uh, let me know in the comments below how it turned out, and uh, link to your video if you take one. I would be very interested to see what your results were. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, at this point we're going to let the dough rise until about doubled in size. Um, I am covering the bowl with a plastic wrap to help it rise. And here's a shot of the dough before it rises. And here it is after it rises. I put a towel over it to help it rise. And you can see it's um, at least doubled there. Where I live it's warm so it didn't take very long to rise, but where you are, you know, times may vary depending on your climate. And now I'm shaping the dough to go into the dough pan, into the loaf pan, that is. Um, if I had to do this bread again, I, I have to say I would probably do it without the loaf pan. I think the dough might have done 
um, even better if it had more time, more room to expand. Um, so if you try it without the pan, if you try this recipe without the pan, please let me know how it works out in the comments below because I think that might actually have improved this bread, although it turned out amazing. Um, I think that could be a possible improvement on this. And now I'm covering it back up with plastic wrap so that the that the loaf can proof in the pan for about 60 to 90 minutes. As you can see, it's proofed. Now I'm scoring the crust so that the loaf will know where to expand when it goes into the oven. I put it into the oven here and now I'm taking it out here's a close-up of the final product you could see the caraway seeds through the score marks here it turned out wonderfully here's the texture and it sliced up great and I'm very pleased with it Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments below or like and subscribe to my channel.